Whether it was the mayor, the governor, or the health department, we probably all remember the video announcements during the pandemic. But did you notice the women standing beside those officials? This Women's History Month, I sat down with two of the ASL interpreters whose impact is now a piece of history. Memorial Park, the city celebrates America. We're there every year. I've probably done just about everything you can imagine. My bounciness will change. Uh -huh. Um, because I want to represent Olaf. As American Sign Language interpreters, these women are used to working on a big stage. But one call three years ago put them in the spotlight perhaps more historic than the rest. I feel like this community has finally been seen. We would have to go more than a year. March 2020. In the middle of dinner, I got the phone call from the city, um, the mayor's office specifically, saying that they needed an interpreter, like right now. <laughs> Pamela Duncan and Jamie Elker were two of many that answered that call across the state. Uh, I got up, I went down there, um, and not having had any prep, not really knowing what was kind of about to transcend, it was a little nerve wracking. All because they had a community to provide for that needed that information just as much as everyone else. They were not in the dark and they knew what was expected and what would be coming up and any policies, those changes that were coming and also the numbers. A time they call pivotal for the deaf community. Looking back, if the pandemic would have happened years before 2020, do you think that an interpreter would have been there? No. No. Pamela and Jamie have been interpreting for over 30 years in some capacity. For Jamie, it was an interest in the language. For Pamela... Uh, my parents and my brother are deaf. My mother's whole family is deaf. There's six generations of deaf family on my mother's side. Pamela remembers historic moments where an interpreter wasn't there. Having interpreters there gives that real-time access as it's happening, all of the details, and that's what you call equitable access. That's what you call inclusion. But in 2020, if you tuned into the mayor, the governor, even the health department, there's a good chance you saw these two women. And in fact, you probably saw the majority were female interpreters. I just want to honor that, yeah. I mean, a majority of our industry really is uh, made up of the female gender population. Forever a part of history. Wow. I guess I just hadn't really thought about it. I suppose if if somebody wanted to look back at history and the access is still there because we're there one way or the other. A new challenge in their careers, but a job with great importance. To be part of that moment where the city government recognized every single person in the city, regardless of their modality of communication, for me, I think that is historical and I'm proud to be part of that. You may be wondering why these two were signing for each other. They say it makes it more clear and improves access for both languages. The next time you'll see Pamela and Jamie is in Frozen at the Orpheum Theater.